I, 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 I hear the sound of the horn and I know it's time to go. I wish it was a taxi. Rosie comes too, of course. She's at the wheel. Dad's in the front passenger seat. So I sit in the back, which I resent a little. Dad wants Rosie to take the coast road, but she insists on taking the coast road. So, so it takes longer than usual and Dad gets this silent kind of rage. And I'm sitting in the back seat, looking out of the window, thinking just how ugly. Mum isn't with us. Our farewell was, I'm still angry with you face. But I felt the strength in her final embrace before she turned away and thought that maybe you know, she's going to get better, but one day she'll soften, one day she, she might even want to get to know her. I want this goodbye to you. I want them to draw me off of the air and to leave. Gets it. But Apple Farewell is still a big thing to Dad, and he insists on coming inside and walking into the gate. There is mayhem at security as he sets off the alarms. How a man can have so many pieces of metal about his person is a mystery to me. But given that my time as a man is finite, it's not a mystery that I need to give much further thought to. At the gate, I tell Dad that I'll come home to visit as soon as I can. He tells me he'll come to Sydney to see me as soon as I've settled in. Both of us know that neither of these things is going to happen, but pretending they will makes our parting a little bit easier. I linger in his final embrace. Knowing there will be the last time I'm held like him as a man. Do something that takes my breath away. He kisses me on the lips and it's so intimate, it almost does me in. And I've never loved him 